Ahlan wa sahlan. Right now, I want to talk a little bit about regular plurals and the ways that they function when they are part of an idafa, specifically if they're part of the idafa before the end. There is one little wrinkle in standard written Arabic about how they perform. This goes for the regular masculine plural that we get by adding un in the marfu'a case or in in mansub and majrur as in um, teachers mudarris one mudarrisun or mudarrisin etc and also for the plurals in Arabic we can add either an or ain to the end of a word to talk about exactly two of them so precisely two teachers would be mudarrisan or mudarrisain depending on the case in formal Arabic and that's one of those instances where we're going to see the change in the actual written letters not just the i'rab at the end of dhamma or fatha or kasra etc. When we have a word that is made dual or plural with one or the other of these structures in an idafa before the end, or if we have a word made plural or dual with one of these structures that has a pronoun suffix attached to it, my two books, his two dogs, etc., then we need to drop the noon. Again, this is in formal Arabic. In colloquial speech, we're probably just going to leave the noon there. Kitabaini, that's appropriate. But in writing, it is considered incorrect. So, a couple of examples to illustrate the point. If I wanted to say, I spoke with the employees of the company, I would say this or write this. Now, the employees of the company. We have an idafa there. And I have a preposition, so employees is going to be majrur because of that preposition. So it could be tempting to write muwazafin a sharika, but I need to drop that noon. So it's going to wind up like this. Mawazafi Asharika. It looks a little silly if you don't know about this rule, but if you encounter that in a text, it's correct because this is an idafa and <coughs> because Mawazafin, which is what it would be, is not the last word of the idafa, we need to drop that noon. Let's look at another example. Um, the employees of the company said that they like the director. We'll make that a jumla ismiya. We could do it as a jumla fa'liya, but let's make it a jumla ismiya. Muwazzaf. Now, the employees of the company here, the plural of muwazzaf is going to be marfu'a. So I'm going to add that wow noon at the end, or I would. Mawazafun. It's tempting to leave it there, but because I know that I have an idafa. And Mawazafun is the first word, and I've got another one coming. I just chop off the noon at the end. Mawazafu ashirika. Qalu. In hum, they said that they like the director. Now, we could make this a jumla fa'liya. In fact, we could argue that it would be more elegant, more Arabic style that way. In which case, we would put the verb first. And because the verb comes first and we haven't mentioned the subject yet, it would be singular. Qala 
موظفوه الشركة etc. Either way would be fine. Now, if we wanted to say that in my interviews, in my مقابلات with the employees of the company, uh, two employees of the company said that the director is a dope. They don't like him. They disagree with the rest of these folks. We could phrase it this way. Wallaf exactly two. And let's assume that they are male or a mixed group. Well, it's marfua, so I'm going to go with the alif noon ending. Muwadhafan, but I want to say the two employees of the company. So I'm going to get rid of that noon once more and say muwadhafa al-sharika. Qala, they said, the two of them. In al-mudir. Balid. One of many words we could say to say that someone is a bit of a a blockhead. Wadhafa al-sharika qala in al-mudir. Balid. So once again, we would have that noon ordinarily, but we need to drop it under these circumstances. The other circumstances I mentioned is when we have a pronoun suffix on the end of one of these words. So if I wanted to say she spoke with her two friends, we would do it this way. I'm going to start that sentence over here. تكلمت مع Now, if I were going to say two friends, ordinarily, outside of the context of this sentence, it would be صديقين. We're assuming these are grammatically masculine friends. صديقين. But I'm adding this ها to the end of it. So what I need to do is drop that noon, and it turns into صديقيها. We need to make sure that our eyes don't register this yes as somehow the possessive pronoun for Anna, صديقي, my friend, because that would give us a strange double meaning. صديقيها, my friend or who friend, her friend, who knows. What we've got here is a dual, but with the noon sliced off because we have a pronoun suffix coming at the end. One little wrinkle to watch out for as we work towards becoming fluent and fluid readers and writers of Arabic.